Listen, this is how it's gonna work. Okay, we're gonna do this little tense pattern. We'll assign everyone a ten. Go in a group, but not everyone's gonna go at once. No one like come back alone. Make sure you're always with someone. Universities are meant to be an institution of knowledge and learning. Instead, they're just a tool for the state, for the government to protect the status quo. Warwick is one of the most militarized universities in the UK. The university has partnerships with companies like Rolls-Royce, BAE Systems and Moog that create fighter jets and arms for Israel. This university has ties to the company Fails, which is a partner of Elbit Systems which manufacture 85% of the killer drones that are used by the Israeli occupation. We've been campaigning since October for the university to divest of all of its ties with arms companies that have invested in the Israeli genocide in Gaza. We got 500 students and staff to sign an open letter to the university. We held rallies, sit-ins. We got 74% of students to vote in favor of divestment. The university refused to listen to us. So back in March, we planned an encampment before the US won. We modeled it on a previous encampment we'd had at the university called Protect Warwick Women, and it was about misogyny at the university. We set up the encampment just over two weeks ago, and we were the first UK student encampment to set up. We started off in central campus for an open day. It's a super visible space and we just kind of were very fortunate in the timing of things. You know, these campments were sweeping across the US and there was a lot of attention that we were getting because of that. We successfully boycotted the Eurovision, which was meant to be screening there. We got it to be cancelled. We moved because we fulfilled our purpose there and we wanted to take more targeted action. We're in front of Senate House right now, which is a site where management has meetings. So we want to really be in their face. It's right near the fab where lots of students study and we're really encouraging every Warwick student that supports our demands to come along. We're going to try and set up um, a study space. Everyone is welcome here. We don't stand for any hate speech, any discrimination. It's written in our constitution. No Islamophobia, anti-Semitism, racism, misogyny of any kind. We are inclusive and we really value that. This is a memorial to Tony Blair and Bill Clinton. He planted this tree in 2000. So we're going to reclaim this. We have four demands. Our number one demand is divestment. We're also calling on them to condemn the Israeli genocide clearly, to call for an unconditional ceasefire. Three days after the Russian invasion of Ukraine, this school released a statement condemning it, and it said that it would revisit all of its ties to Russian institutions with the aim of terminating them if necessary. No such action has been taken seven months into a live stream genocide. So that racist double standard is, is really disgusting. The third is to pledge to the reconstruction of Gazan universities. Every university in Gaza has been destroyed. The hands of weaponry that our university has connections to the production of. And allow Palestinian scholarships like they did with Ukrainian students. And finally, we're calling for them to protect the voices of Palestinian students and staff and their allies as they voice their protest and their support for the Palestinian liberation struggle. Mm. We've had incredible support from the staff, dropping food off, helping us with materials or just being there as like support. The wider community, even from like Coventry and Birmingham, people have come down and they've given us donations. But if you're a student at Warwick, the best thing you can do is to come down and camp with us. The national student movement is really growing and we're very united. We're in contact with encampments and universities just in general across the UK. Um, and yeah, we have contacts in the US um, and other schools as well, sharing resources, sharing knowledge, sharing solidarity support. Historically, student movements have had so much power and so much influence. Time and time again, student movements get undermined, they get discredited, they get slammed in the press. But history has proven us to be right over and over again. For the people of Gaza, what you're going through is nothing that any of us could ever imagine. But we are fighting for you. We won't stop. Hold on, guys.